Welcome back to The Lemon Factor. I'm Chad, and today I'm here with one of our two project cars, the 2019 Honda Accord 2.0 Touring. And it's been one year since I installed the front lip spoiler on this car. The spoiler's seen better days. It's not just due to the quality of the product, which is questionable. I take some blame for having to replace this spoiler today, which is exactly what I'm going to do. I will be replacing the spoiler with a cheaper, more durable alternative. I'm gonna go through my feedback and I'm going to go through why I chose to replace it with the product I'll be replacing it with. So if you're interested in hearing more, then stay tuned. Before we proceed, please don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. So let's talk about the good. No, there is good, there is good. Uh, let's see, it's still on. So the install went well, and using both the screws, a mechanical attachment, as well as the double-sided all-weather automotive 3M tape has worked very well. It has seen its fair share of curbs and it's still attached and it's still attached very, very well. Now, of course, you're probably noticing the corner. And if you recall in the install video, there's not a mechanical screw on the corners. It was only attached by the 3M tape. So that did come unattached, but the rest of it, Really solid, it's on there really good. So I think that's definitely a positive. In my original install video, I did comment about the quality of the product. And over the year, you can see all of this flaking, all of the coating on top has flaked off in multiple areas, which is really disappointing. It's only been one year. I also have a couple cracks. You can see here this one. This, interestingly enough, was from me hitting an empty gallon, probably milk jug on the road. Uh, blew in my way, I slightly ran over it, and when I checked after getting home, I found that this side of the spoiler was cracked. And of course, you could see here a lot of that clear coat flaking off as well, which looks just horrible. <coughs> Now the big piece on this side, why it's hanging off, as I had mentioned, there's no mechanical screw back here. I guess I could have, um, so it was just attached by 3M tape. My fault, I was driving to uh, a race in Lime Rock Park and they were doing infield parking. It was rainy, it was a little bit muddy, and yes, I did plow into some of the grass, the dirt, and took up a chunk of the turf with me and that's what finally did it in. Now you can see why I need to replace the front lip spoiler. One thing I wanna point out and just highlight to all of you is that when I lowered the car, and remember I'm on the Eibach Pro Kit Springs, I do get some scraping on my driveway. Yes, a lot of it is my fault, but that's user, right? So you need to be aware of how you drive you need to be aware of how low your car is and the places that you park. And if you're very conscious of that and you're always paying attention and even with your car lowered, you know, you're okay, then that's great. But for me, fortunately, you know, I find too many situations in which I am impacting the front lip spoiler. So with that said, let me show you what I purchased. So I was looking for a replacement and I was considering replacing it with the same spoiler. And yes, I've complained about it a little bit, but for $70, although I think it's gone up in price now, it is a cheap spoiler. I considered the Yofer, I considered the Akasaka, uh, both great looking spoilers, really popular. However, they're expensive. And for me thinking about that, spending the money, what is going to prevent me from having the same results a year from now? I spend $200 on a Yofer or a Akasaka front lip spoiler, and I bump into things like I've done with this one, you know, that's, that's $200 versus $70. So I kept looking and I did find a product that is 
less than half the price. I found it on Amazon. Now granted, it's not fancy, so I'm hoping that it looks really good. My hope is that for $30, I get a spoiler that is much more durable. It's not the hard ABS plastic that can crack, weather, flake. It is more, it's made out of uh, a rubber. So if I do hit things, hopefully it'll give a little bit uh, and bend with it. So that's my thought, spend 30 bucks, let's install it. Let's see how well it wears. Let's see how well it looks. I'm hoping it looks okay, but even if it doesn't, I have a couple different ideas of how we can change the look a little bit if we need to. Without further ado, let me show you what I got. This is the Samurai Rubber Skirt. I know, I know, it doesn't sound like much, but again, for 30 bucks, and yes, the entire front lip kit or skirt is in this box, but it's rubber, it's rolled up. So $30, I'll leave a link in the description below where you could purchase it on Amazon. It's more of a universal fit. So it'll contour around your bumper and it does use the 3M, which is already applied and embedded on this. So you'll peel this off, use the 3M to attach it. And then in certain areas, you will also use screws. So a mechanical attachment as well, which I think is great. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna remove this. We have a whole bunch of screws attached to it. What I'm gonna do next is clean underneath here. It's pretty dirty. It catches a lot of uh, debris. So I'll make sure this is thoroughly cleaned. After I'm done cleaning it with cleaning products, I'm gonna take some isopropyl alcohol distilled water mixture and I'm gonna wipe it down so there's no residue from the cleaning products. I also use albeit a very small pad, but a pad of adhesive promoter that came with the kit. So it is rubber, very flexible. Like I said, one of the reasons why I got this besides the cost was also that if I start hitting things with this, it's just gonna give on the actual rubber portion. So it already has 3M, which just peel off the red. I'm gonna start with a corner and I am going to start applying this. And when you come around a bend like the right and left corner of the car here. You can cut little triangles into the rubber in, or in order for it to curve around that bend. Otherwise, you start getting it bunched up a little bit. So I'm gonna well, there you have it. It was an easy install probably 10 to 15 minutes. Wasn't difficult at all. Just take your time around the corners, cutting out your little triangles in order to make the rubber bendable around each corner. I actually really like it. I thought at first when I took it out of the box that it, maybe it was a little too small, but maybe it wouldn't be as pronounced. Uh, I think for $30, it's really a bargain. And it's so flexible that if I do accidentally bump into things, I'm not gonna damage it. I did not install the screws. So I didn't screw, it comes with four screws. You would put it on either end and then at the corners here. I didn't do that just yet. I wanna sit with it for a while, see if I really like it first. If I don't, then I'll just pull it off. But if I do, then I'll reinforce it with the four screws that were included in the kit. Don't listen to that guy. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Take it from me. I'm Chad from the future. I learned the hard way. Lesson learned. Make sure you attach those four screws before you drive the car. And better yet, attach the four screws and give your car a chance to have the uh, tape actually start bonding with your bumper. So don't drive it quickly afterwards. Fortunately for me, I took the car out on the highway and shortly afterwards it started coming off and then part of the spoiler got caught under the tire and it chewed it up. So I had to get another one and reattach it. So.
I think it's a very good alternative to some of the much more expensive front lip spoilers. And even if you don't like the color, I was considering that, it does have the faux carbon fiber look, and it really is faux. It doesn't look like carbon fiber. Uh, I may leave it as it is, but I may end up making this gloss back black or trying to match the white of the car itself. If I do that, I would be interested to see how vinyl wrapping something flexible like this would work or not work. But uh, leave a comment below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And thank you for watching, and until next time.